to kill a lanternfly. My friend, Miss Darlene, is deathly afraid of lanternflies. Their slow spreading ways spook her every time. You know they're from China, she says. Despite the mandate to kill all the non-natives on site, we cannot stomp out all the little monsters at our doorsteps. Mass exterminations, whether of the spotter, spotted lanternflies or animals we have domesticated and infected and who then infect us, these are signs of capitalist-induced climate change. What are crisscrossing histories of displacement? My parents came here from China, too. We all stand here on Lenape land. Our university is an invasive species. If we consider the thousands of black families who have been driven out of this neighborhood by bulldozers and gentrification or densification, as the developers are now calling it. Today, Ms. Darlene is fighting to save her subsidized housing from demolition right down the street at 40th and Market. As communities are being torn apart in cities and in forests, what stories do we tell about whose life matters and whose doesn't? What do we choose to preserve? What do we stomp out? Next time you go to squash a lanternfly, perhaps the very casualness of the act will prompt you to pause and remember the powerful ways we make and unmake our world. In Octavia E. Butler's Parable of the Sower, the young prophet Lauren Olamina reminds us, all that you touch, you change. All that you change, changes you. Thank you. <laughs>